You shouldn't have worried. I, I, I'm, I'm taking care of her. She's, she's okay. No, no, no. Let's get her to the hospital. Let's get her to the oh, hospital. Babe, 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 babe. No need. Okay, you know what? Not to worry. I'll take her to the hospital. What, what, what is this? I don't understand. You're talking about taking my daughter to the hospital and then. Babe. You know, I'll, I'll take. I will take a cab. It's annoying. Hi, Damson. What are you doing here all alone, just standing under this hot sun? Like someone really got you angry. Hello? Um, Excuse you. Well, I can see it's like you're waiting for a cab or something. Uh, I can just call my cab guy to pick you up, if you don't mind. No, thank you. I don't need your help. Uh, come on, you don't have to be harsh. Anyway, I live somewhere close. I could just walk home, get an umbrella so I can cover you up. Is my skin complaining? Isn't. So, just let me be. Let me take my taxi in peace. So that I mean no harm. I am harmless, alright? Okay, fine. I'll be here with you. Let's wait for the taxi together. But, you see, this area, it's very difficult to get a cab here. Why not maybe we stroll towards the junction? It's easier there. Okay. Is it okay by you? Yeah. Good. Well, my name is Steve. Mm. My name's Ella. Ella. Nice meeting you. You too. So let's just walk towards the junction. Ella, where are you coming from? I asked you a question. Where are you coming from? Dad, I'm just coming back from school. I boarded a taxi on my way home. There was a crazy traffic. Or did you expect me to fly? What sort of nonsense talk is that? I went to that school of yours to look for you and you were nowhere to be found. Now answer me. Where are you coming from? Where did you go to? Dad, I'm a prisoner in this house. Can't I do what I like? I'm a grown woman for goodness sake. 
I need my freedom. Ella! Ella, I'm talking to you! Keeping our wings to fly. Let's find out. My love, what are you saying? Don't do this to me. I, I can't take it. We've known each other for six months now. And you're not taking any move. Sudi, I, I, I thought we are heading somewhere. Why the sudden change? My dad doesn't want me to keep boyfriends. Okay, fine. I want to marry you. I will come and see your parents and make my intentions known to them. I know you're just saying that to make me calm down. Try me. I am dead serious. So, when do we visit them? My dad will be coming back from China next week. And I want you to have enough time to think about it. Because my dad is a problem. I am a man. And I am willing to face any challenge thrown at me for your sake. I wouldn't want to lose you. Okay, anytime you're ready to see my parents, you can come to the house. The door is always open for you. Honey, we need to talk. We need to talk. I need to talk to you about something. As you can see, I am very busy. Can we do this some other time? No, no, no. This has been on my mind ever since you traveled to China. This is the right time to talk about it. I have to finish up what I'm doing because the presentation is tomorrow morning. I promise I, I won't take much of your time. Please. It's um it's about Ella. Honey, I have noticed your attitude towards her. Especially since she turned eighteen. You've been overly protective of her. What is going on? This is the nonsense you want to talk to me about. Hmm? Are you going to tell me how to raise and be around my own daughter? And oh, let's not forget, you were the one who was never in support of adopting her in the first place. You never bought the idea. Yes, that was then. But I grew to love her like my own daughter. Besides, legally, she's, she's, she's our daughter. Friday. Is there something you're not telling me? Is there something I need to know? You can think whatever the hell you want to think. I, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Sweetheart. Good afternoon, sir. So you're the nitwit that has been deceiving my daughter. What do you do for a living? Right. Stop. Um, Steve, please never mind. Our daughter here, Ella, mentioned something to us. But we would like to hear from the horse's mouth. So feel free to express yourself. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. My name is Steve, and I am here to make my intentions uh, clear to you all. I, I I want to marry you. It's like the breeze in your head. It made you come send out. You. You want to marry. My Ella, you must be very stupid. A driver like you, of 
for what? A company that deals with plastic. I don't blame you. I blame this, this silly girl for, for letting you into my house. I and mean, if you ever try this again, come with this, this idiot. And get out of my house. I said, get out of my house before I tear you to pieces. Get out! If I ever see him in this house again, you hear me? Doesn't that want to get married? The other man I brought to the house the other day, he called him an illiterate. He said an ordinary constructor builder. No, what is happening? Where is this going to stop? Ella, I need you to calm down. I am urging you. To the ice cream joint that I believe it will cheer you up. And I tell her things to be in the arm. Jealousy. Let's see now. Um, Ella, we are going to your favorite ice cream joint. Do you want to join us? You guys can go without me. Thank you. All right, girls, you know what? We'll go we'll have fun together on our way back. Get our favorite ice cream flavor, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Ella, it's been two hours. since that incident happened. Why don't you just move on from it? Huh? Mom, this is the second suitor that is chasing away like this. So is that want me to be a single woman till I grow old? Steve loves me. He loves me so much. But well, why does that hate him this much? I understand how you feel. And I am really, really sorry about how you feel right now. But not to worry. I'll talk to Dad. I'll, I'll talk to him. And I'm so sure he will change his mind. Okay? Where is Dad believing me? Why does he hate me? He doesn't hate you. He's just being protective of you, okay? Hmm? I want you to know that dad loves you so much. Alright? And everything he's doing is doing for you. So, you know. person you want to see or be around now, but I need you to listen to me. Dad, why don't you want to get married? Why are you doing this to me? I've been a good and obedient daughter to you and mom. Listen, now. None of the guys that have come for you are good enough. They cannot take care of you the way I do. Okay, you know what? For all the tears and pain, okay? I promise you for your graduation, I'm getting you a brand new car. Okay? I don't need your gift. I need freedom. 
Dad, I need to be free from all these your games. I'm sick and tired of it. Ella. Ella, come on. Ella. Ella, I'm talking to you. Will you get back here? What is going on for this girl? She's totally out of control. For how long are you going to continue like this? See, it's it's high time you forgot about the, 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 the past and, 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 and embraced the future. Huh? The future that the man I call my father has sworn to destroy. Which other future is of my love? I am beginning to get more worried than I should. Is there something I should know? What exactly are you not telling me? No. As an obedient, loyal child, don't you think I deserve to be happy, to be married to the man I love? Don't I deserve all that? More than that, you deserve the best. You deserve everything beautiful, my angel. I know you need help. I know, I know something is wrong, and I, I can feel it so strong. But I can't do anything if you don't talk to me. If you don't tell me what the problem is, what is going on? Huh? How you are handling this with me. Huh? Why, why are you behaving this way? The excuses you're given for not accepting this man, for rejecting them, they're just flimsy. Two suitors, and yet none of them is good enough for our daughter. Now listen to me. I am the man in this house. And whatever I say is final. Else you will not. What? What, Fred? Else what? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Emma is our daughter. She needs our support and not this, not this pain you are inflicting on her. What is this? Is this? You, you are going to come back here. You will tell me. You will tell me. Dad and Mom are arguing because of you and I'm scared. Mom and Dad are here. Adults, sometimes adults are doing to correct your mistakes. So, let me get some ice cream. What's your. You're hitting me! Ella, you were fine this afternoon. What happened? Did you hit your head on something? No? Huh? I feel so weak and nauseated. Did you say weak and nauseated? Open your eyes. Open your eyes, open them. 
are you are you feeling anything here? Mom, stop. Don't you think I'm old enough to know when I'm pregnant? I think of the stress of typhoid. Did you say stress of typhoid? Yes. I'm calling Dr. Ben right away. He's coming over right away. Yeah, she's fine. Is she pregnant? Please, please, just tell me the truth. I can take it. Please. Uh, she's not pregnant. The symptoms you saw are signs of stress. And let me ask you, is she passing through some kind of stress lately? Yes. But is it, is it serious? Should we be concerned? No, no, no. It's not a serious thing. It's something I can handle very easily. I will prescribe some medications for her. Just stop at the hospital and pick them. That's all. Thank you, doctor. I was wow. Thank you, doctor. I was really worried. I thought she has gotten pregnant since her father refused to let her get married. She's not pregnant. But that reminds me. Is Fred still? Insisting on not allowing her get married. Is he still serious about this his deadly mission? Deadly mission? What are you talking about, Doctor? It's okay. Doctor, you are my husband's best friend. Yes. What reason did he give to you for not letting our daughter get married? Please, I need you to talk to me. I'm married, I've never married. At the right time to think, he will protect you now. But it's not something. I need to run out of patients away before you get us with you too. Huh? Just right. take care of yourself. Let me see you. Can I just have my peace of mind? I just don't want one madman to pop out from nowhere and embarrass me. Madman? I thought you said you would stand by my side, no matter the situation. So what's gone over you? So that this situation is critical. It is very, very critical for me to navigate through. It is obvious that your father wants to marry you. Fine, let him have you. I am no longer interested. Just let me be. Excuse me. You're walking out of me. I know Dad will be happy about this. And where the hell are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I'm home and that should be a relief. Watch the tone with which you talk to me, young lady. I've been waiting for you. Sick worried. And this is all you have to say? Are you joking? Something, something actually came up and I had to attend to read. Please. You have to... You have to hey! 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 What is this? Why? What is the problem? What did she do? Why do you want to beat her? What did she do? What did she do? Ella! 
just do not die again. I've been noticing you ever since you returned to this house. Your attitude has just changed. Your attitude towards everything has changed drastically. What is going on? Hmm? Mom, the problem is that. But all the same, I'm fine. No, you're not fine. You're not fine because you're getting me worried every time. Because how do you explain to me how you, you, you suddenly dropped from being the apple of your father's eyes to becoming his boxing op opponent? How? Mom, Dad will be in the right position to answer that question. Ella. No matter how much you and Fred try to run away from this topic, you people will give me an answer. You will definitely give me an answer when the time comes. It's only going to take time, but you will definitely give me an answer. I will, I will, I will, find, it, I will find the root of this. Have a good news to share with you. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Wait, I can never be too busy for my own Okay, what oh, yeah. is the good news? Share. Yeah. Mom, guess what? What? Okay, I have someone in my life today, and he truly loves me. He said he wants to tell you guys, but I want you to meet him first. Can you do that for me? Hey, Angel. You are so beautiful. And any man that sets his eyes on you will never let you sleep away. So tell me, what is his name? And where is he from? His name is Mike. And he said he's from the east. But I can't remember the name of his village. Maybe when he tells you, you know. <laughs> Naughty girl. You know what? I will meet Mike. <laughs> but it is not going to be in this house. Okay. Or his house either. It has to be some more neutral. <laughs> My angel, anything? Thank you. I'm happy to see you happy again. So happy. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing here? You know my father is around. And if he sees you here, he won't find it funny. Is your dad a liar? Come on, I came here to see you. Come down. I've, I've missed you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Please leave now. I can you ask me to leave now? Come on. Just chase me down. He's here now. Ella, what are you doing with your friend outside? Invite him in. Switch of course. Please leave now, because this won't end well. He's just said you should bring me here. I've just been invited by your father. Come on, take me here. Let's go. Thank you. Ella, I need you to excuse us. I need to have a word with your friend. Yeah. 
can bet that the next thing that will come out of your mouth is that you love my daughter. Right? Yes, yes, sir. I, I, I love her so much, and um, God willing, and of course with your consent, I want to marry her in future. You're such a fool. I literally just stated that that garbage you come out of your mouth, and you went ahead to prove me right. Well, listen to this. You will never get my consent. I love my daughter. She means a lot to me. And I do not want to see reference like you around her. Do you understand me? Now, this will be your only warning. I, 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 I understand, sir, but please, I love your daughter. All right, just give me the chance, give me the opportunity. Will you get out of my house? What sort of rubbish is this? But, but, uh, I, I, I said, get out! I won't be wrong, sir. I love you, brother. I must be sick in the head. Dad, what have you done? Nala, I forbid you! I forbid you to go after that man! You don't know what you have done! You have a taste of my venom. me to you and you need to scold. What's happening to you? Don't I? Fred, what is it? I mean, what is all this? It is a dream of every father to, 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 to see their child get married to a, a good man. But your case is different. What is going on? What is all this? I'm not ready to release her to any man, okay? No, I, I, I don't understand what you mean by that statement. Fred! Fred, what are you, you are coming to, you are going to explain to me what you mean by that. That Debbie's birthday is in a few weeks. Oh, yeah, we can go there. What do you mean by here we go again? Um, <laughs> and you know how you know she talks about wanting to have a themed birthday party, so we have to go and yeah. have um, well that's your department, so I leave it to you to handle. Yeah. You do just fine. Okay. It's your department to dispose the money. Mm. I'll try. No, we will not try. <laughs> Go all out to provide what we need. That's really nice. Ella. Um, young lady, where are you going with that luggage? I have decided to leave this house. I want to go somewhere far away and start up a new life. I'm tired. Are you listening to yourself? Do you even make any sense? You think that is the best decision to take at your age? My friend, would you take that luggage back inside and stop acting like a brat? I may 
not be your biological mother. But I've been your mother for years. That is it! Hitting the nail on the head. Because I'm not your biological daughter. That is why Dad has decided to frustrate my life for me. I have to go. Listen to me. We, I and your dad, we have come to love you from the very first day we adopted you. Huh? Don't do this. Leaving the house is not the best solution to this right now. It's good to be sent. Oh. Let me apologize for my actions. I know my actions may have pushed you. So I apologize. Now, I promise that henceforth. Eh, uh eh, -uh. will... uh -uh. uh -uh. Frederick Johnson, enough with your with your empty promises and and, and, and do the, the needful. Do the needful. Yeah, you didn't even notice me. Why is it in Europe? Your dad. I met your dad earlier today. That man threatened me. There's nothing he didn't say to me today. He's making it very difficult for me to love you. Why? And trust me, I, I, I made sure, I told him that I'm not a coward. Babe. <laughs> Just calm down. I'll talk to my father. Okay? No, 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 don't. Please, I, I don't want you to be involved. Okay? I can handle him. I'll, I'll face him like a real man. I don't want you to fight with my father. I don't want him to ruin your day. Please, cheer up, okay? I came all the way here to cook for you. You know, your dad is. It's handful, but trust me, he does not know the kind of person I am. <laughs> you know, you, you always have a way to melt my heart. And trust me, I will love you. Alright. Good. So now, let's move to the kitchen. Okay. So I can cook. You have no something in the kitchen. Hmm. Is that right? Very perfect. So, let's go. No matter the situation, one should not deny soothing the stomach or the drums. Fred, thank you so much. We know that. We well, thank you for the cola, but we can only consume it only if only what we came here for has been resolved. Yes, Frederick, we are here because your wife complained to us about what is happening in your home, especially about you. If it's easy to give out your daughter's hand in marriage, what is going on? Our people used to say that a pregnancy is only hanging when it is not yet time for it to come down. But must surely come down when it's time, when the time comes. Emanuela is ripe for marriage. 
Why are you still stopping her? Mm -mm. This is very interesting. So you invited my uncle Zuba. You actually went to report me. It has gotten to that, yeah? Okay. Well, since you have come down here to confirm, you know, I'm talking about my daughter, Ella. My adopted daughter. Uh, um, Fred. Bring down your voice. Learn your language. Have you forgotten that we agreed not to tell you? Oh, no, we agreed nothing. Since it's very okay for you to go and report me to my uncles, I mean, their, their family, aren't they? So it's okay for them to know. There's no need to lie. Yeah. Ella, it's don't you dare touch me. Ella is not my biological daughter. She's not our biological daughter. I found her on one of my many trips to Ghana. And I adopted her. Are you saying... Ella, is not your biological daughter? Yes, uncle, she was adopted. Even though my wife here was initially not open to the idea. And she later warmed up to it. And they got off pretty good. But I will not let any refrain come in between the plans I have for Ella. When I adopted her initially, that is all I can say on the matter. What plans did you have when you adopted e e Ella? Is it not to love and, 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 and care for her like your daughter? What's this big secret that you're not telling us? What's the secret? Freddie Johnson, since you adopted this girl, she's your daughter by law. Mm -hmm. Why is this stopping her from getting married? Frederick, give your daughter out for marriage to the suitors coming. Choose one of them before outsiders will start making rumors you will not like. Have I not said it too? Thank you, my elder son. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, please stop this. I'm your daughter for goodness sake. An adopted daughter. You're missing the point. What is wrong with you? You've been rejecting me. Adoption is not supposed to be like this. In the eyes of the Lord, you're my father and your wife is my mother. I explained everything to you when you turned 18. And you accepted me. Why the sudden change? What happened? Did I do something wrong? Everything wrong, Dad. You made me do what's wrong. The essence of adopting me is not to violate me. You deceived me into sleeping with you. And now, you want to make it look right. Why? Mom has been nothing but good to me. Why are you making me betray her? Tell me your plan and tell me more. Maybe I should. So she'll know the monster she's living with. Hey! Ella? She... What? No, no, no. What's she wanting upset? Um, she's she's upset. She 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 had a conversation with me. She she's thinking of going abroad for a masters. And then I'm like we shouldn't do that right now. I prefer her staying back so she can help you run the company. Honey, there is nothing wrong with her going to study abroad. And she can always come back to run the company. I, yeah? I don't think it's in her best interest right now. Do you, you just go on? Why don't you go up and freshen up? Yeah, I don't think we should go to that. What? Are you trying to drive me to the side? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it comes 
my angel. How are you doing today? Dad, your calls keep on distracting me from my lessons today. I didn't mean to distract you. What are you trying to do? Don't do this. You've been rejecting me for what over a year now. What is wrong? Dad, for the past six years you've been doing this. And I'm no more enjoying it. And in the past one year, you decided to make my life miserable by chasing my suitors away. Dad, this is a new reality. I'm old enough to make my own decisions. I'm out, and that is final. You said, Helen, you cannot do this. No, no, Maria, not now. That is Faith calling you. Dad, pick your call and send my regards to mom. Ella, Ella, you cannot do this to me, okay? Maria, yeah? To the house. Yes, I'm at home. Oh, okay. okay. Ella! Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? <clears throat> something that entered your nose out now. <laughs> well then. So now what can I do for you? Uh, yeah. So, um, this is my car key. I need you to go to Rose's office. The chef, Rose. I need her to be in this house this evening because I want us to plan the whole... Um, Caris's birthday party together. I guess so. Here you go. Oh, yeah. I don't like diamonds. Oh, God. I don't want to drive. I don't want to go out again. Don't worry, Mom. I'll take a cup. Really? I will. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's okay. But you have to be careful. Well, I don't trust all these cup men out there these days, okay? I'll be very careful, okay? See you soon, baby. Hurry, hurry, so you come back on time. Okay. I've been trying to tell you, but the guilt was too much on me. What? I opened my heart. My heart. And my home. So you, and this is how you pay me back. You are evil. I the day I, I want to take you into my home. You shouldn't have done that. You know I said to you. I know your secret all these years. I kept it. What nothing secret are you talking about? I'm nothing like you. You are worthless. You are useless. You are mean and you are sleeping with your foster father. Don't you have shame? I have proof that your husband is not the real father of those children. He is. He's infertile. That is why he couldn't get you pregnant. Shut! Shut! Shut that! Shut that hole! You call him mouth! Frederick is the father of my children. I don't know anything about this rubbish you are talking about. Now pack your things and leave my house, you evil child! Leave my house! I know I betrayed you by sleeping with Fred, but that shouldn't make you call me evil. A pot shouldn't call a cattle black. You are laughing. And you're just trying to distract me. You're failed. Because it's not working. So back your and get the hell out of my house this minute! 
August 20th, February 2014. And 15th July 2015, ring the bell. I came back from school after waiting for you for over an hour and I met you with nothing. 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 Absolutely nothing happened in in in, 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 in those states. Because if it did, you would have confronted me. Why did you go for me? Why did you not confront me? Because you saw evil. Because she was just a child. A child that witnessed evil on those dates. Now tell me, Maria. Who were you cheating on me with? I heard nothing. Absolutely nothing happened in those days. She was, she's just like... Shut up! Lying to yourself, was join me. I will try to keep you waiting. You want to destroy my home? You want to destroy my home? You have failed! 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 My God, just be here. What, what, what's the matter? What did your father do this time? Please take me away from this place. Please, just take me away. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. I see you took your jolly good time. Now we're going to get right into it. You will tell me who have you been cheating on me with? Don't get me started, okay? Because I knew there was something fishy, especially when you get your medical history away from me. Now start talking. Um. Fred, is it every silly lie you'll be believing? Hey, can't you say she's lying? I'm not cheating on you with anybody. The kids are yours. <laughs> Fred, you slapped me. And I will do worse if you do not tell me what I need to know. Who is the bastard? Oh, okay. I, 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 I confess. Please, just, just know that I, I, I did this once. You blow <laughs> it. You still have the guts to talk? You think I'm joking? I will show you another side of Fred you do not know. Now open your mouth, you witch, and begin to talk. Before I shred you. <laughs> ben. Ben. He's the father of the children. You see, um, Maria, um, you think of my career that you did. You 
just give me the call Sam. I've been telling you this. Just be taking your medication. I believe you'll be fine. All you need is patience. Just be patient and be taking your medication. You will be fine. I am your medical doctor. If anything is wrong with you, I won't hesitate to tell you. I'm telling you just the truth. You are medically okay. Nothing is wrong with you. Sometimes it happens that we just be patient and be taking your, your medications. You'll be fine. I need to find out that I'm not the problem. I need to find out that I'm married. No, stop. Please. Stop, Maria. Please, help me. This is your madman. This is your matrimonial thing. What if your husband walks in here and sees us? No, my husband is at work. And, and, and Ella is in school. It's just the two of us here. I can't do this. Please, it's just the two of us. Maria. You're going to like it. Are, are you sure you yes. will? I'm not comfortable. Please, please. please. I'll just know here. Please help me. Maria. Just don't you help know me, baby. Maria. a great thing in our lives and it is marvelous in our sides. <laughs> so and yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it calls for a big, 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 big celebration. <laughs> a big celebration and then you, you, you're you handing me a glass of juice. So I, I don't understand. Why not a bottle of wine? <laughs> yeah, I mean, something better since it's a big celebration, as you put it. Okay. Let's just say that we don't want to hurt our little one. That, that, you saying you pregnant? Yes. You're pregnant. <laughs> you're pregnant. Yes. Oh, you're, you're, you're pregnant. Yes. I'm going to be a father. Yes. 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 Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. no. And, and you just, you just telling me this way. But, I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> calm down, calm down. So, I went to the hospital this morning and okay. I found out that, that I'm pregnant. I just couldn't wait to share the good news with you, baby. Yes, no, 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 no. You're not, you're not going to share the news like this. <laughs> I'm done with what? This is the best news in a long, long while. I'm going to be a father. Yes. Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Pregnant again? Yes, babe. In, in, in just nine months after giving birth. 
Hey, mom. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry for being so careless. I shouldn't have skipped my birth control pills. What are you talking about? Who makes you think I'll be mad at you? You're pregnant! I mean, we, we did it. I, I did it. You, you're pregnant again. What, what are you on about? I mean, yes, we did it. We're pregnant again. I did it. I got you pregnant again. What are you on about? We're having a baby. Have the baby again. What are you talking about? God, it's infinite wisdom. Made you skip those birth control pills, okay? So that we can have another baby. Fred has loved you so much. Why do you <laughs> would you think I would be mad at you? Come here. Thank you. Thank you. Carries from daycare and also get Ella from school. Ah, oh, thanks, babe. I'll get you something on my way back. All right? Be good. Be good. Be good. Right. I'm so sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. It was a silly mistake that that gave us. Two bottles of joy. I, I didn't know how to. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do when I when I found out about your infertility. I just wanted to to have children. Why? Um, I don't 
I have no choice than to answer immediately. Yeah. He asked me to. But, Fredo, you don't look as excited as you sounded over the phone. Maria, it's anything the matter. Everything is fine. Right? Don't! Consider to one of my closest friends. If not the closest. Very dangerous report. Please, nobody jokes with it. Maria, talk to your husband. How many times did you fuck my wife? Sorry, please. Shh. I asked you a question. How long have you been sleeping with my wife? You call yourself my friend. Why did you do it? Maria here was my girl back then in school. You know very well I even wanted to marry her, but because if we are desperate, I reach her. You know, trained her in school. That was how I lost her. Please forgive me. Please, she was my, my girl for you. My S. my children! They don't deserve to be treated otherwise. They are innocent. And I will not have them offered. That's your saving grace. Thank you. My lawyers will be in touch with I called the police already. I'll be telling myself that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're welcome, ma. 
I love Ella. Okay, and I love this family so much. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay, everything will be fine. Don't worry, your husband. He'll come out alive and no more. You think so? Yes, I know. I know. It's just that Ella has not returned home since she left. I know she's feeling guilty about this whole thing. She thinks it's her fault, but it's, it's not her fault. Fate's just decided to deal a big blow on us. On, on me. It's fine. It's fine, Mom. It's fine, okay? Trust me, Ella has not been herself ever since her father was sent to prison. I'm, I'm telling the truth, okay? Well, all we pray that um, we'll have a fair judgment. Maybe a year or more. It's on the fire, okay? So, okay. how about the kids? I had to send them to my mother. I didn't want them to experience the whole of this. I even had to lie that their father traveled abroad. I just miss Ella so much. Yeah. She's she's innocent. And I miss her. Don't worry, man. Okay, I am going to come here to pay for it. Trust me, she misses you too. Mm. Mm. Thank you. All right, I have to take my leave now, ma. That's fine. Please take care of yourself. Thank you. Thanks for coming over. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. Talk in the house anymore. There's really no signal now. Mm. Try that. Hmm. There's no network in the house. That's so I want to know if you can go back to charge. What is it? <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> Let me get you water so you can drink. You need to drink some water. Why is that? How? My love. I know this is not the right time. But I ask myself. When is this right time? Yes, it's, it's a trying time for everybody. But trust me, this trying time has made me to understand the fact that I love you. It has made me to know that love lives in you. Ella, please. He taught me what real love means. I've known each other for years now, and you're promising to hold my hands forever. Yes, I'm lying. <laughs> Thank you. shouldn't be a thing of difficulty for us because you have always been a good wife to our late brother and of course a good daughter-in-law to us. A daughter-in-law? Well, you got to know the reason we are invited here. As you all know, the money period for our late brother is over. So why are we here? Uh, like you rightly said, it's been 
over a year since um, I buried my beloved husband, Fred. So I think it is um, time for us to welcome happiness and good news into this household. Um, so, Ella is ready and I concur. Our wife, I don't think you called us here for riddles. What is Ella ready for? And what do you concur? Make it clear. Speak it. Um, I know that in cases like this, we are supposed to come pay you a visit. But I beg to defy in this case. Um, Mike here has something to say. Uh, Mike, please, right. take over. Thank you very much, Ryan. Um, first of all, I give to my elders. My name is Mike Okebu. I am the only child and the crown prince of Obovo Kingdom. And I'm here to ask for a last hand in marriage. Young man, I know Obovo Kingdom very well. And also know that the only son and the crown prince of Obovo Kingdom was abroad for many years. His name is Nkemakona. Uh, you are right. My chief. Okay, um, I am a Kema Kalam. I came in from US a year ago and decided to disguise myself as advised by my father. And now I have found my bride. Well, my prince, you have spoken well. Like a real man. Thank you. But first, tradition. But we need to know if our daughter will accept you. Um, my wife, go get Taylor. Let her do Just the confirmation. I'm coming. Um. Yes, I do. <laughs> it's suit, young man. You can bring your people whenever you need. I'm ready. You can come in tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, my chief. Just hold on. Let me go and bring all the delicacies I made specially for this occasion. Follow me to the kitchen. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, you know, it's true. It is. Fabric of our once 
cherished dream.